Always exciting to discover a new and special talent that perhaps you didn't realize you had. The now Buffalo's Mike Randall catching up with a young man who found a passion for woodworking and turned a fun hobby into a business. A couple of days a week, you'll find B.J. Wadsworth right here. Here is the basement of his group home, where he spends hours at this lathe creating beautiful and functional works of art. These are scoops. These are uh, made out of corian. This is for seam rippers, for those who sew. That's BJ's mom, Louise, obviously a huge that's fan of her son's work and unofficial marketing manager. And that's made out of cherry. I think this is our old dining room furniture. BJ has an act for this, no doubt, but he had a great teacher, too, his dad, Robert. And he stands back and he looks at it after he's all done with it and polished it. He stands back and he goes, whoa, whoa yeah. I did that? I yeah. said, yep, you did that. He's really excited about it. It may take several hours for BJ to finish one piece, patiently trimming, sanding, and polishing each creation. Let's work on finishing that. Group home manager Lisa Van Son is a fan of BJ's work, too. My Parents. function is quality control. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. All this is just a hobby for BJ, one that brings in a few dollars. How much will that sell for now? Hey, cars. $20. You can check out his collection at his website at bjswoodcreations.com or at his next big show at the Roy Croft Summer Festival, June 23rd and 24th. I just wanted it to be for fun to let him know that he has creativity in him and he needs to bring it out and that was one way to do that. A reminder that we all have special gifts and a hope that we can all be as lucky as BJ and discover what they are. For the Now Buffalo, I'm Mike Randall.